I'm here at Tansu Gapsan in Chicago. It's one of the city's old school Korean barbecue joints. What I love here is that they just use charcoal to grill the meat. When it comes out, it comes in these cauldrons that are just searing hot. You can put the meat right on and it's ready to go. And I'm gonna meet Bill Kim. He's a longtime Korean American chef. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna have some ox tongue and tripe. And you know, these are things that like, I think a lot of grizzled Korean barbecue pros would prefer to eat over the tender steak-like cuts. I think my face is gonna start melting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, put some so butter. Hot. Put some uh, butter on your face. <laughs> you don't remember me, but I, I came to your <laughs> I came to your restaurant, Belly Shack, almost like eight years ago, and I was so intrigued by what you were trying to do. You're a fine dining chef, yeah. and you come back to Chicago, you come home, and you're like, you're doing a Korean barbecue restaurant. You're, do, you're writing a Korean barbecue cookbook. Yeah. You're like the elder statesman of Korean chefs. <laughs> and people look up, you're like Qui-Gon Jinn of <laughs> Korean <laughs> chefs in Chicago. <laughs> I never knew nine, eight years ago that I would sit down with you having Korean barbecue at you know, one of the old school yeah. Korean restaurants. My wife always says, do not wear your best clothes when you go to a Korean barbecue because <laughs> you will bring it home and she doesn't like that. Even um, when, we, when we've done charcoal barbecue before, it wasn't mm -hmm. fully charcoal. Here they yeah. literally have no gas. Yes. That's <laughs> so cool. Have they always done that? Yeah, I think it's grandfather then. I, oh, I don't think okay. you could do it anywhere yeah, else. All, what is the difference between, let's say, cooking it on charcoal versus a gas grill? Yeah, in a lot of the Korean food has a little bit of sugar in it or some kind of, uh, you know, sweet element that's gonna actually char and it just makes the meat really, really come out. Yeah. And I love the crispy bits. Right, the little on sear the, on the edge. Yes. Yeah. The next evolution of Korean barbecue for kind of the hardcore crowd mm -hmm. is the, the awful meat, you know? It's the meats that are like unloved, mm -hmm. they're the nasty bits, yeah. they're unsexy. Yeah. And if you've done Korean barbecue again and again and again, yeah. you're like, I want something different. I want something that's just like, I want some just a little liver. off the ranch. Yeah, you know these these nice prime yeah. meats are they're always going to be people are going to like them. Yeah. But as a chef, especially, I'm sure you're like, hey, let's let's eat some different stuff. So this we have the ox tongue here, and we've done tongue before, but I like how they're the cuts are pretty thick. They're yeah. kind of beefy, <laughs> like yeah. they're they're not for the faint of heart, and you can kind of <laughs> tell immediately that they're like, oh, that that was a tongue, and there's a lot of uh, fat to it too. Oh man, look at that smoke <laughs> right away. It's just that sizzle. Yeah. I think that's the fun of it too. As a kid growing up, you're basically, you know, you're never allowed to cook at home, but when you go to a Korean restaurant, yeah. you do whatever you well, want. Well, this is where you learn how to yeah. cook, you know? You can have the big piece. Oh. <laughs> I love that gift. Just like you said, even though you want most meat to be super tender, it stays with you and you're chewing. You gotta have jaws for this. <laughs> it's kind of like, they're getting revenge on us because this is what they do all day, eating yeah. grass. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, that's, God, if I say that, the vegans are gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, yangui or the the tripe. I've never seen tripe that way, which yeah. is crazy. I mean, I mean. You know, it's usually like honeycomb tripe and. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true. Like, I love how this browns up. Look at that, oh, it's man. like, it's charred. Damn yeah, good. What? yeah, you, oh, yeah. I'm yeah. used to the honeycomb tripe, yeah. right? That everybody's used to, but this is damn delicious. It's so interesting. Like, it's like, a, it has like almost like a spongy squishiness. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's almost like a scallop. Kind of, yeah, me, like a meat but, scallop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Menu idea. Ding, 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 ding. This, is, this is why I write about food. <laughs> but I like how it's seared and it's much more substantial. Like, you yeah. can't really overcook this, it seems uh -uh. like, you know, versus a scallop. If, the, if you overcook that, it's horrible. It's like a pencil eraser. You don't want to eat that. I actually like this the best. Interesting. That meaty flavor that you want in, in an awful that, you know, people think it's going to be minerally gamey and it's going to, the taste is going to linger. Honestly, it's, it's a clean finish. Yeah. Very mild and, you know, it's flavored by some of the condiments that we have here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be pretty rich and unctuous, especially yeah. with the addition of the sesame oil. You know what's so funny is I'm looking at this grill and it's like turning black, and I'm my immediate instinct is to like, oh, let's lower the lower the heat. You There's can. no way to lower the heat. <laughs> it's go, oh, go man. hard or go home. That's uh, it. 
you kind of like came back to Chicago because you were working in New York for a while. I spent 10 years in the East Coast and, um, you know, I wanted to be different. Obviously, being Korean in the business, starting off early, I was already different. If, you, if you're a good cook, you want to become the best cook possible. I always said you have to go work with the best and I wanted to go to New York. But my heart was all always in Chicago. So when I left, my watch and my clock in my car or my house was always on central time. That's crazy. For 10 years. There is a strong Korean presence and Korean community in Chicago. You know, eating here at like Samsung Gapsan, like it's, you know, it feels very old school and iconic and kind of weathered and, and like comfortable. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it feels like home. Like you it meet does. your mom here, it you does. know, when yeah. you were working in the city, she's in the suburbs. This is where you guys meet. Yeah. Sundays. Yeah. You know, I spent t time around the country and yeah. like there is something that's kind of universal about the Korean American experience. Yeah. And um, if you ever like lose your bearings, just go get some KBBQ. Yeah. And you <laughs> Meet found, somebody there. It's like, yeah. slap you right in your face. You get that smell right? and you take it with you, you know? Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more of my Korean barbecue videos, click right here.